Hello, I'm Eric Thomas, Pitmaster Grill Master of the Rolling Grill. And we're gonna do a wood-fired rack of lamb over some pecan and mesquite wood. Simple prep. Make sure you go in here and, and cut back as much fat as you can because once you put this over that hot grill, rack of lamb has a lot of fat cap. You may get a few flare-ups and you don't want a lot of fat dripping down on that hot coals. Now just add a little olive oil. Oil down all sides. And then we'll salt and pepper. Whatever your taste, I like a lot of salt. However much pepper you like. Now before we put it on the grill, we're gonna wrap the bones because if you put it on the grill, you don't want the bones to get too black, you know. People eat with their eyes, you want some beautiful presentation. All right, we're ready to go to the grill. We've got the grill set up for two zones. We've got a hot zone and then we've got a cooler zone. You wanna burn mesquite down because mesquite has got a very intense and strong flavor. We'll grab our rack of lamb, fat cap down, start off. Directly over the heat, push it down a little bit. We're gonna sear them off on this hot side for about five, five to seven minutes on each side and then we're gonna move them over to the cool zone. All right, our lamb is seared for maybe about five minutes on the other side, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna place it over here on the cool side. While we're doing that, we're also gonna add about one or two chunks of pecan wood to the fire. Close our grill up, choke it off just a little bit. We got a combination of pecan and mesquite wood that's gonna go really nice on this rack of lamb. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and make a tzatziki sauce. It's a Greek sauce, consists of Greek yogurt. You wanna strain it as best you can. You're not gonna get all the moisture out, but just try to get as much moisture out as you can. We have some diced up cucumbers, whatever size you like. At this point, this is where the magic happens. Garlic, and lots of it. Tzatziki can really take a lot of garlic. So I'm not playing around. I'm going, I'm going in with all of it. Your neighbors and your friends may not like you the next day, but that's all right. Right now we're gonna take some dill, fine chop it, however you like it, you know. And we'll just add that to our yogurt mixture. I like a little bit of rosemary in mine. Be careful with rosemary, rosemary is very strong. It overpower your sauce. Lemon, tzatziki can take a lot of lemon. And by all means, please squeeze it over your hand so you can catch the seeds. And I'm going with a whole lemon. Salt, I like a healthy dose of salt. And we also have just a little bit of pepper. And we'll mix this all together. <laughs> Fantastic. So this is our tzatziki sauce that's gonna go along with our beautiful rack of lamb. All right, we're at about 1.30. We're gonna take this off and let it rest. We're just gonna let this rack of lamb rest on this cutting board for about 10 minutes. Nice mahogany color on the meat from that beautiful smoke of mesquite and pecan. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this aluminum foil. As you can see, we have some beautiful bones. You have to be careful when you cut rack of lamb, there's always a bone that gets in the way. And if so, just power through it with a chop like that. And if you have some folks that like theirs a little more well done, the end pieces are always gonna be a good bet for them. We'll go ahead and place some tzatziki sauce on our board and we're ready to go. And that folks is your wood fired rack of lamb over pecan and mesquite wood with a beautiful tzatziki sauce. Enjoy.